Ourselves not to be changed. Areas that you won't allow your faith to touch. Where your faith is not penetrating and you don't see it. Vengeance and anger and hurt create blind spots. I'm not talking about good people and evil people, right people and wrong people. I'm talking about places where there should be love, but there's hate. Like maybe your heart. I wonder what is in your blind spot. Who is suffering in your blind spot for the lack of something that you refuse to give? Some people are nicer to strangers than they are to their own family. How can you say that you love God and hate me just because you're gifted and just because you're anointed and just because you're successful doesn't mean you're right. Just because you made a lot of money doesn't mean you're right. You cannot substitute cash for righteousness. If God measures the saturation of our faith by the way we treat people, how deep is yours? How deep are you really? What I'm asking you to do is to reflect the mercy you have been given. The reason I have to be merciful is because I have received mercy. And every time I want to be judgmental, I keep remembering something that God did in my life. Mercy doesn't end with you. Mercy begins with you. I think God wants to make you a sanctuary. He wants to make your heart a sanctuary. This is not about them. This is about you. God wants you to be free. What's in your blind spot?